Okay, what about now? But the picture's clear. Well, that's good. Read my lips. Okay, you can hear me now. Okay, good. Because I can hear it. If I can hear it on here, then I know. Those commercials, you know. Uh, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> How about now? Hi, Bernie. So what I had to do was turn the microphone off on there back on. Weird. The other thing I forgot to do, I don't know if I can do it at this point, was to have the live chat come up in the video. So not only am I using a new device, I'm um, using a new um, application of the software. So I have to get used to that too. Hi, Linda. I'm glad that the picture is really good because I played on what the best settings were. And um, so I was hoping that that would fix it or make things better anyway. Okay, so I have my other device here so that I can read the comments. So that's why I keep looking down. Don't fire me yet, okay? So um, I just want to know if let's see who all we have on here. We have So Becca, Robin, Kim. Um, Bernie, Linda, BJ, hello. Okay, so we have six people so far. Woo! <laughs> but in my chat, it says seven. I wonder if I can... Okay, Becca, here's a question for you. On top of the screen here, I'm using my... Samsung cell phone. So the screen is small. I don't have it on the laptop or anything like that because you know how old that thing is. It's a dinosaur. Um, but it, it has the length of time that I've been on. And then it shows these little people. And it says eight. And then it shows the connection stuff. Can I push? The little people and have the chat come up. Need to figure out how to get the chat to roll on there. Hello, Jim. Hi, Pat. Super hot up here. Whew. I don't know if she's still there. I don't know. Depends on software you're using. Uh, Streamlab. The new app doesn't have the cute little face on it anymore. Um, well, let me touch the screen. Oh, I found it. Now, I want to know if, it, if you can see it on the screen. That's what I want it to record the chat on the screen. But I don't see it coming up on this screen. Hmm. So I'm probably going to have to go. Uh, yeah, I need to get up to a thousand. It'll probably be a lot easier. Yeah, touch it and find out. <laughs> I was afraid it would break if I touched it. 
Jim says, I have a clear picture and good sound. And he gave me a little heart. That's cool. All right. So I don't see. Now, the last time I used um, Stream Lab or whatever, um, it automatically put the uh, chat in the video. We're not doing that now, so there's got to be some something in my settings. Oh, okay. Becca says, I think putting the chat on the video picture will really be a plug-in you use. Uh, you stream from a computer with extra software. Well, um, that's how she always did it. She doesn't know about from a mobile phone. Okay, well, when I used to do it from this one, um, with the old Stream Labs app, it would come up on the chat. So I don't know. I'm just I'm going to have to play it play around with it. They want you to buy their prime. So I would probably have to do that to um, get all those the goodies. All right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yep. All right. So here I am all excited, Teresa. I decided that I'm going to talk really loud and act really goofy. Um, so you can't watch me while you sleep. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I couldn't do that today anyway, even if I wanted to. Um, Oh, thanks, Becca. <laughs> so grab some tea or a soda pop or coffee or whatever it is that you like. And we'll do a little bit of chat. I am super tired. <laughs> so I don't know how long I'm going to be able to stay on here. I don't know if you can tell, but my eyes are super heavy. See how tired I look? Um, so yeah, I think I spent too long on Becca, <laughs> Becca's channel. I'm blaming it all on you, Becca. All right. I have to have somebody to blame it on. Uh, Kim just woke up from a nap. Um, everybody's excited to have tea with Teresa. So that's good. Jim is drinking tea also. Uh, Becca said that she's sorry. <laughs> but then she put a laughy face after that. So do we really think that Becca is sorry? Um, hi, Heather. We've got nine people here now. We have so Becca, Jim, Kim, Heather, and BJ, Bernie. Robin, Angus, I hope I said that right. Hi, I don't think I had said hi to you yet. Is, um, is that, let's see. Agnes, is it Agnes? <laughs> These glasses do not see very well. That's what I'm going to blame that on my glasses. Pat, Linda. I hope everybody's still here. Robin. Okay. Um, yes. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Um, you know, I really like that name. Agnes. It's a kind name. Usually, it's usually older people by now because you don't hear the name for kids anymore. I think they should use it now because I really like it. I must have had an aunt named that or something. Hi, Deborah. Oh, your first time here? Uh, 
She was recommended by Becca. Thank you, Becca. And thanks, Deborah, for popping in. You're not that old. Well, good. Hmm. Well, none of us are that old, really, are we? Okay, I'm going to set this down. So, here is my new art collage area. So, what I did was I made one heck of a big mess in the sewing room. And I just moved everything that was over in that corner over to this corner. Like, why would I do that? Well, a uh, couple of different reasons. I feel like I have more light over here. And then I go this wall, and it's been that bit that I have. I still have the um, closet door wall over there. And if you remember right, this is where my sewing machine was, and this is where I did all my unboxings and all that stuff. And so I just felt like I needed a change. I'm I'm one of those people that when you start like you, you need a change in your life, but you can't move and you can't get a divorce. I know that was funny, right? Um, not that I want one. I was just kidding. Um, then you just change the stuff around you. You, you know. chance to kind of spring clean right so not that I can ever get rid of any of my fabric as hard as I try but anyway um so this is what's going on um I'm still need some more tables or something um especially if we are going to record as we do this I don't think that is going to be the best spot for you right now you're sitting on a bar stool next to the long arm and um that i don't think that can be a permanent place because you're going to want to come closer when i start doing that guy but it is what it is right now i wasn't completely ready today to start doing the art quilt but um, I'm starting to get my mojo back about doing it and share my ideas. And so a couple of you um, here do do art quilts. And so, um, you know, I'd like to get your opinion on that. And all of you quilt. And so I know you know about color. And that's really all it's about, putting colors together. So let me take a minute here to read the chat, and then I'll talk to you about my ideas. <coughs> I hope that I didn't um, offend you, Agnes, because I, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, Mary's got to go. Um, they're getting dinner. Age is just a number. That's right. That's from Jim. Um, thank you, Bernie. Bernie is asking you all to give me a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. I have 24 people in the chat now. Thank you very much. Um, hi, Patty C. How are you doing today? I have BR um, Brat 46. Hi, Brat. <laughs> you know how you say that in uh, Dutch? Hanyaken. That's the only Dutch word I know because my grandmother was Dutch and she used to call us a Hanyaken, which means, well, it means brat. <laughs> it means some other words besides just brat. Hi, Joyce. 
Um, let's see, who else do I have here that I need to... Oh, good. I'm glad I didn't offend you. Uh, hi, Nancy. Deborah says, hello. Good to see ya. Joyce says, hi, Teresa. Hi, Joyce. Patty says, uh, glad to see that I'm back. Thank you. Okay, now that we have 23 people, and happy 4th of July, everybody. Um, this is going to be on here for a little while, and um, I know I'm pretty sure Tiffany's still coming on, so you'll all want to go do that, including myself. So here we go. So over here, I'm going to hope, hope that I don't drop you on this stool. Over here, I have a little table set up with the art quilt. Then I have some uh, little plastic drawers underneath. And then um, over here, I have another table. Okay. Can you guys see that well enough? I'll, sit, I'll move that. So here's the other table. This table will have all the fabric pretty much. Now, check this out. I think this is kind of cool. You see this thing here? This is one of those shoe racks. You know, you put your shoes in it in the closet, okay? Isn't that a great reuse <laughs> of an item? Okay, I've had this hanging in my closet for a long time. I don't go. It might go to Goodwill or you might want it. And um, when I was cleaning out the closet, I was like, um, well, before that, I was trying to think of what I could do with my fabric because my little shelves that are over there are too big. They won't fit right here. So I couldn't bring those over here. So I'm like, well, what am I going to do? Because I just didn't want, you know, everything out on the table except for the pieces that I'm working with, you know. I mean, I want to be able to grab fabric from places. Anyway, so I thought, all of a sudden it dawned on me, try this shoe thing. And so what I've done is I've put color swap up here, you know, with just little clippies. And I am putting different little pieces of fabric, like this will be all blue. Here's some purples oranges over here, you know, and so forth. And um, that's just going to be where, like, scraps go into, you know. I thought it was a great idea. I think it's going to work. And um, then I just have a bag that I'm going to do. This is what I do, you know. I'm going to go through the basket. And then put all those scraps in there. So that'll work great. So um, while I figure out a place for my fat quarters, all the fat quarters that were in the shelves over there, I put it, I just, for now I'm putting them in the totes so I can still see all the colors and grab what I need. So I have two of these. And these are mostly fat quarters. Some are a little bit bigger, some a little smaller. And then I have these quarters here. Here. And then there are I have a bunch of fat quarters here too. I can't bring those over. 
And then these are all um, stacked too high here and here. So I'm going to have to change this because I want to be able to see the ones that are down below too. So I'm going to be taking these out. But these are all one yard cuts. And then um, I need to get some more. Like I said, I need some more containers, right? Uh, then I have uh, layer cakes right here. I have a bunch of layer cake pieces here and several layer cakes right here that I can take from also. So. The other thing I thought about doing was just getting some small totes, you know, that I could put on the floor down here and just, you know, throw certain colors in there and then just rummage through the darn thing, you know, instead, because that's not going to last very long. So if you're going to be messy, why not just go real messy and get some totes? Because then you'll still be somewhat organized. Um, Anyway, next time I go to uh, town, it'll be next week sometime, I'm going to look around at the Dollar Tree and see if I can't find some storage containers that, that are clear plastic so I can still see through them. And then I can just put them down under the table and try that. Unless you guys have an idea, I would love to hear what your idea might be. Okay. Let's see what everybody's saying. I'll find out where I'm at. Hi, Vivian. Okay. I remember I read that one, so. Hi, Tamara. She said that she tried to get me right after uh, Becca and Stephanie, but she got cut up with Stephanie's Saturday post. Okay, that's okay. You know, I it's no big deal. You know, I'm here. Hi, June. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, June Billings. Let's see. All right. Kim says, that's a great idea. Jim says, awesome. No sorting later. Kim says, remember, thumbs up, everyone. Jim said, he did all three and got no notifications. Huh. Jim found containers at the Dollar Tree that fit the layer cakes, but it's been a while though. Yeah, I found some really good like art bins at the Dollar Tree, and they worked great. But um, so you know, so I think I bought like four of them. I'm like, I'm gonna have to go buy and back buy and back uh, buy some more of those, and. They didn't have them. I asked them about them and they were like, oh, you know, that was kind of a one time thing. But um, so we probably won't be getting those anymore. That's the bad thing about the Dollar Tree or the dollar stores. Some of that stuff they get is just kind of a, you know, a one time deal. So I'm um, sorry if you don't like people drinking in front of you but <laughs> too bad <laughs> this is my channel and i can do what i want <laughs> right i told you i was going to be funny today um yeah you know you get really thirsty when you talk you really do so you have to have something to drink 
Anyway, this is tea time with Teresa, so everybody should be drinking. When you guys are creating things and you are in your quiet moment, you could just be anywhere. But you've thought about some sort of creation that you want to make, like for me with this art quilt. You start thinking about it wherever you are, like you go for a walk, you know, and uh, you, you're thinking about your project, your, you know, and how you want to do it, and, uh, what it should look like, and what are you going to need, and all that kind of stuff, you know. And then, like, sometimes you just wake up and you go, oh, wow, that's a great idea, you know. And then you got to go write it down or sketch it out or something like that. Well, that's kind of me with this art quilt. Now, this is the first art quilt, collage quilt that I've ever done. Um, most of you know that. So um, it's taken me a long time. <laughs> but that's okay. You got to enjoy the process, you know. Um, so here's my idea, okay? Now let's see if you can follow me on this. Now, you see this right here on the wall? That is a panel, okay? It has this beautiful mountain scenery. Here are the mountains up here. And then it's Cloudy through here, foggy, right? And there's an eagle flying. And these are all trees, and it's snowing. And there's a cliff sticking out right here. So here's my idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sew a piece of muslin on this side, on on all the sides actually. Um, I'm not sure how much yet. Um, what I'm probably going to have to do is push that over as far as I can go at the end of the wall, so I can have like uh, maybe two foot at least of muslin. And then I'm going to put a big tree branch. It's going to look like that it's coming up this way. And then it's going to, like, the branches are going to hang down over it, right? Down in there. And that's going to be all collage. So I am I am kind of cheating by using a panel. but. <laughs> That's okay. It's my art. I can do it the way I want. <laughs> and then down here, it's going to be kind of like, um, you know, when you're on the top of a mountain uh, and you come out to the top, you know, and there's just like a cliff, right? <laughs> but you see this beautiful view, which is that. So here, you see that mountain, and that's where I'm going to put um, Cookie. So Cookie's going to be looking like she's there looking out, and then I'm going to have some of the other dogs also. So all the dogs that have passed away. So there's Cookie and Bo and Curly and Trixie. <laughs> there's a lot of dogs. We've had a lot of dogs. And and we've had them, you know, I think the youngest one um, was probably 12 when they passed away. They all had good lives, so. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing with that. 
and I'm not sure yet if Cookie is going to be too big the way she is right now. I'm I'll, I'm going to keep on working on her. I'm going to take some uh, inspiration from the panel, kind of incorporate those colors into her. Um, and then also, when I'm putting these dogs on there, you know how these photographs or these and the panels, or not photographs, um, the panels or people's paintings, they kind of have a silhouette of an animal or like a, almost looks kind of like a ghost in the background. Some of the animals are going to be like that. You know, they'll be within the painting, <laughs> if that makes sense. Are you with me? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to read the comments. Okay, where were we? Okay, I think I said hi to Carolyn and June and Nancy. That's a neat idea. Okay, that's on the sorter still. You are right. Yes, you can. <laughs> That's right. Stay hydrated. It's important. I have my cup of tea, says Carolyn. Um, Tamara says the Dollar Tree advertises you can order from their catalog and pick up in the store. Have you checked that out? No. No, I haven't. <coughs> I had no idea that the Dollar Tree even had a website. But why wouldn't they? <laughs> of course they do. Doesn't everybody have a website these days? Okay. You said you can't have caffeine. Okay. The decaf. <laughs> um, like bitter, bitterness. I actually started um, drinking green tea and my stomach feels so much better. Well, I don't like it as well, but <laughs> it's helping my stomach. Nancy says, love your art quilt. Kim says, beautiful panel. Joy says, sounds beautiful. Sounds awesome. Not cheating. If that's what you want to do, then do it your way, says Jim. Hi, Angela. How are you today? And happy 4th of July. Um, yes, a rainbow bridge collage. Yes, yes, you do get it. That's exactly it. Um, and Carolyn said, beautiful tri tribute. And Tamara says, <laughs> neither had she. So, all right. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what I had in mind. Um, I'm still working on getting the uh, closet arranged with all the projects, but that's feeling so much better. I do have quite a few projects in there. I still need some more uh, container containers, but I'm also going to put um, all of the quilt kits that I have bought, even though I haven't started them, they're all going in there too. So everything that's a project, whether I've started it or not, is going to go in there. And then I can, you know, organize it some way. And then I'll have it like UFOs, you know, things that I've already started and then things I haven't started yet. So, and then I was also thinking what I might do is um, go through some of my fabric that I had ideas for doing projects and go ahead and getting that all gathered up, um, put it in a container also, and along with the 
uh, pattern and put start getting the stuff in rotation. You know, I th- I think it will. Re- I'm hoping that it'll really help me. Um, you know, if I'm a little more organized, it'll just help me get through stuff a little bit. Um, I'm not trying to get done faster because. I just I want to enjoy the whole process of it, you know, too. Um, but I, you know, I re- I'm running out of room, guys. That's <laughs> yeah. And then I then I was on so yeah last night. I shouldn't have done that. It reminds me of being in an auction. You know, have has, have you guys been to an auction? You know, you don't you don't have any intentions on bidding on it. Or maybe you have something in your mind. Okay, I'm only going to spend 10 bucks. That's as high as I'm going to go. All right. But everybody starts bidding on it. And the more people bid on it, the more you think you have to keep bidding on it. And pretty quick, you know, you spent 200 bucks on something you didn't really want. (laughs) Or that you only wanted to spend the $10 for. Let me put it that way. So, oh my word, BJ, I have quilt kits from the 90s. Oh my word, that she hasn't made yet. Is the fabric still good? Probably, huh? Angela has been limiting her video watching today. Jim uses pizza boxes to store blocks and layers of cakes once they're open. Got them from a place where they tossed them out. You know, I thought about just regular boxes, but I'm worried about the um oh shoot. I just lost it. Um the acid. The acid in the boxes, ruining the fabric. Because they always say put them in acid-free containers. Um, So, but I suppose if you're going to go through them quickly, it'd be okay. You know, I don't see why it wouldn't. I don't know how long. Um, how long it would take for your fabric to do what? Now, what happens to them when they're in a cardboard box? Do they get stained from the cardboard? Uh, oh, Jim uses parchment, parchment paper under them. Oh, good idea. Okay. Or Patty says, line the box with tinfoil to keep the acid from leaching into the fabric. Uh, Deborah, she was on So Yeah last night also. Whoa, spent more than I should have. Me too. Me too. I'm so glad that I... Got my Stephanie Stitches Autumn Project Box pre-ordered before I went on to So Yeah, or I would be sitting here crying that I didn't get the Stephanie Box. (laughs) Because I finally got one. Archive safe for storage. Okay. So um, when I first started, when I first moved here and started putting my fabric away, I didn't know much about that. And I cut a bunch of cardboard boxes up to the right size that I wanted and fold, 
folded my fabric on them. And so I ordered um, comic board strips and I'm going to go through it and replace all of them. Uh, and opportunity to fond fabric and refold the fold line will go away. Okay. So I'll show you what is going on over here. Also, open the closet door and let you take a peek in there. Although it is still kind of messy, but you'll kind of get the idea of what I'm going for. Don't get sick. All right. So it hasn't changed much since my last live video. I did get all the clothes out of there. Um, and so I think I will have uh, a shelf unit right here that has all current projects. And then I'll have projects and fabric there. And adding. And then um, I have some projects in there that are sewing projects. Those are all the quilts that I need to quilt. Right here. <laughs> I'm not even going to count them. <laughs> okay. So that's going on in the closet. I've got two and a half bags of garbage so far. So that's good. And then, um, so there's where I moved my sewing machine on my big cutting table. And then I still am getting the binding on that quilt. So let me go turn the light on over here. So, and I'll just take you over there with me. We'll go for a little ride. So are you guys going out for the fourth? Whew. All right. So this is where the art quilt used to be. You see that wall wasn't big enough for that panel or anything. So I'm just moved some stuff over to here. You know. There. And I'm not done organizing it yet. So this is kind of, I'm thinking, going to be the area where I do my computer stuff, um, look at patterns, come up with designs, what have you, just kind of a little work area. Um, those shelves are what I used to have all the batik in. And so I'm just kind of, I'm going to decorate those up, put some fat quarters in there, and bundles. And then over here, I still, I haven't done anything in this corner yet, which has all my art paint and stuff like that, my beads. Um, so I still got to get that cleaned back up. So that's kind of what it is. So I'm back, I'm in this corner. Um, you're, you're sitting on the big cutting table. And then I put that shelf, used to be over there. It's over here now. And it's going to have books and stuff on it. And then, of course, I didn't move. That goes outside to the patio. And I didn't move the long arm. It's still there. So I'm going to move you over here for a second. So you can see the... That's my nice big table here. 
It's four foot, four foot <laughs> by eight. And it's just uh, plywood. Now I have it covered up with a piece of fabric. So this is where I plan on doing videos. And I'm going to do some free motion quilting videos and stuff like that. And this will give me a lot of room. A lot more room on this big table to do that. So that's what I have planned. All right. So, what do you think? <laughs> Still a mess. Still a mess. Take a look at the comments. Oh, it's so hot up here, you guys. Whew. All right. It's 4.30 almost. Okay. See where I was at. Oh, don't see I'm Deborah. I know, Deborah. Me too. She says it's only the fourth, and I'm done for the month for fabric purchases. Me too. Me too. I'm just hoping that Stephanie doesn't get that Layla boutique Christmas fabric in, and if she does, if I can make payments, because <laughs> that's the only real purchase I really want to make. Um, I really want that Christmas fabric. Uh, uh, I think they're asking about Stephanie's Project Autumn box. I don't know if she does have a waiting list or not, but send her an email to let you know. I know she sold them all out. Um, but you know what? Somebody might cancel because it is a pre-order. Um, so go ahead and get on the waiting list. That's what I would do. Definitely. Yeah. Email her. Let's see. Deborah's staying home. The grandson is at work all day. So just hubby and her. It is a nice large room. This was, uh, I know you're new here, so I'll tell you. Um, this used to be the master bedroom, and um, our old dogs could not get up the stairs, and they all sleep in the room with us, you know. So we had to take the bedroom downstairs, so that pretty much left us empty, and so, yeah, I got it as my sewing room, <laughs> which is. Okay. Um, Jim is in the corner of the living room. He would get lost in a place like my room. <laughs> yeah, Patty loves all the space I have. Great space, everybody's saying. Thank you very much. My room is on the third floor of this house. This house is really big, really too big for two people. But we hardly ever use the basement, even though it's fully furnished, uh, finished down there. And it's so nice and cool. I've actually thought about moving my sewing room down there because the that space down there is unbelievable big. It's really big. Um, but it has a pellet stove that has to run during the winter time. And I don't want all that uh, wood dust on my fabric and stuff. I would have to keep it in. And then I could put anything on the arm. I have to cover it all at night and everything. And that, so it'd make a real mess. Um, Patty C says that that's what she did. Uh, hi. 
uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Is it um, Jody? J O E T T E? Hello. All right. Jim is being pulled. What well, I have for Jim? Table. Table. Oh. Your dinner, Brenda. Miss all about art. Will <laughs> there? I'll let you look at it as the eagle flies. All right. So I'm thinking definitely I'm going to have to have another table right here or something. A different table here because these are just the little teeny card tables. They're long. Um, I think they're like 24 inches across by maybe maybe three foot. So they're it's not deep enough. I thought of move about moving it over there, moving the cookie over there, but then. I wouldn't have a panel. I won't lie, it's a panel. But I'm I'm going to incorporate it into my art quilt. So alrighty. Um let's see. Does anybody have any questions? We'll go with that. Any question whatsoever that I can answer. That will be the trick. Yeah, I think so. I think so. At least I'm hoping it'll work. Yeah. You know, I have to tell you, though, doing this collage art quilt, I just want to get my paints out and paint it and be done. <laughs> right? Because I think, God, if I'd been painting this, I'd have had it done by now. <laughs> yeah, I think I might. Um, I signed up to... So along with so yeah, um, is that on the twenty fourth of July? I think. Um, Deborah asked me what got me started. Uh, what got me started in art quilt? Well, I'm an artist. I I paint, and uh, I did. I do oil paints with some acrylic, and I love to do animals. That's my favorite thing, with a very light, almost watercolor-like background on them. And um, but I haven't done that for quite a while, and I've been quilting. So I thought I want. I really wanted to get back to doing my art. As a matter of fact, the over there where I took you, now that that's my just table design area and stuff like that, I could put my art, art stuff there and, you know, do a painting now. So I'll, I'll be happy about that. And so I just wanted to see if I could incorporate the kind of art that I do with fabric. And I saw quite a few, well, not quite a few, a couple of art collage people, women, actually, on YouTube. And I was, they just kind of popped up, you know. I'm like, oh, wow, that is cool. Um, like uh, Susan Carlson and that alligator and the one of her dog, the alligator is humongous, you know. Now I could do something like that down in the, basement um because 
I have a wall that's pretty long. I could probably do an alligator. <laughs> um, but I think I'll I think I better start small <laughs> first. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, I'll show show you some of my paintings sometime um, in some of the other videos on art um, art quilts chat. I think I showed you some of the videos, so you could go back and check out in the playlist. Um, let's see what the chat's saying. I need a Stephanie <laughs> so she can read the chat for me. Oh, Angela is cutting in and out a little bit. Brenda says, awesome idea. Um, let's see, I already answered that one. I already answered that one. Yeah, I have ideas. So glad you were recommended by Sydney and Becca. Thank you. Yes, I am going to open uh, that mystery box live. Uh, so I bought the um, So Yeah mystery box last night. And, um, you know, the $40 fat quarter box and you get the golden ticket. I get the golden ticket. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so. Monday is a holiday, so they won't mail them out then. I'm sure everything will probably go out Tuesday, so I might Friday. Tuesday. So that'll be fun. We'll um, take a look at all the fabric I got. Um, I don't think that I got the peaks. Um, I did get a couple of five yard cuts, but they were really light colored, like white on white, white on pinkish, really light pink color. And I did that because I need some background fabric. Um, I'm just about out. And that was, that's a really good price because I usually buy a whole um, bolt of background fabric when I do buy it. Because um, you usually get like I think I pay like 10% above cost or something like that, or 10% off. I don't remember. You get a discount if you buy the whole bolt. I know that. And um, uh, so, yeah, because I, I hate to run out of background fabric. And so that's why I just buy it by the, by the bolt. And so I got some of that. And then um, I did buy that. Fat quarter bundle. Um, it was all wrapped up. There was 30 of them in there. I can't remember who it was called now, but it was kind of like um, Civil War fabrics. And I think those fabrics make a great quilt for guys. You know, it's so hard to find fabric that you think guys will like. And so I think those, although. A lot of guys like blue. <laughs> and then there are some guys who like orange. Right, Jim? Um, oh, well, I just get my background fabric normally from the quilt store. Um, we have a couple of quilt stores in my area. I mean, they're, it's an hour and a half drive one way to to a quilt store and but one of the gals um she lives in uh Kuski, idaho and is called b creative quilt shop and she has a lot of background fabric yeah jim says yay orange <laughs> um but i so yeah it doesn't usually um have those light colors and so 
when they came up with them, I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to get those because I'm just about out. The other thing I use um, five yards of fabric for is for um, backings for your quilts. Of course, you have to sew them together, you know, because they're not, they aren't 108. That's, I did oh that I did pick up a 108, which was a really good price for that too. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna sit here and tell you everything that's in the box, and then you're not gonna want to watch the unboxing. <laughs> um, so. Let's see, what's Jim say? I got a bunch of fat quarters from Soya in oranges and browns. Yep. Brenda says her hubby loves the Civil War colors. I made a t-shirt quilt with those colors. Oh, Deborah says <laughs> her quilt store is only six miles away. Yeah, but you have to live by a bunch of people. <laughs> and I don't. I live in the mountains like this. That is where I live. I have some videos that show the snow, me plowing the snow last winter. You can go check it out, Deborah. <laughs> you know, I would rather live an hour and a half from town. So I like it here. Um, all right. Um, I'm going to go in a few minutes. So thank you, everybody, for joining me. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, Please subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. I was looking at my analyzing video stuff on YouTube, and um, there's about 45% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So don't be one of those people. <laughs> it's free, like I said. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Oh, Jim's quilt store is like seven blocks, but somewhat expensive. Kim has a quilt shop just 11 minutes away. She has a lot of Civil War reproductions stuff, great boutiques, and Carrie's Creative Grid Brewers. Yeah, um, that quilt store that I was telling you about. And Kuski, the Be Creative, she has a lot of boutiques. I mean, row after row of boutiques. They're a little on the expensive side, um, but sometimes some of them get cut up into fat quarters. <laughs> God bless you too, Carolyn, and all of the rest of you too. And I hope that you all have a wonderful 4th of July weekend. And if you have pups, you know, I hope they're okay. Mine all get a little scared during that time. But we just stay with them and tell them it's going to be okay and act like it's a party and, you know, act like it's no big deal. <laughs> sometimes it helps and sometimes it doesn't. Um, bye, Brenda. Bye, everybody. Okay, you guys, a couple more minutes because um, I know there's a little bit of a delay. So you guys can say goodbye to everybody. And um, I know a lot of times I just click off and I'm like, wait, I want to say goodbye. <laughs> Happy Fourth, Deborah. And Kim and BJ and Brenda. And uh, Jody, Carolyn, Joyce, Kim, Angela, Jim, Linda, Tamara, Angela. Let's see. I hope I said everybody. 
All right. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Oh, Donna. Hi. New subscriber. Yes. Thank you, Donna. I appreciate that. I, we were all just saying goodbye. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, thank you. Joette. Joette. Is that right? Okay. Thank you for spacing that out. I hope I got it right that time. Joette. I'm going to wait and see if you tell me if I said that right. <laughs> and then I'll go. If you're still there. <clears throat> My throat is starting to get raspy. Bye, so Becca, if you're still there, hon. Thanks for all the sweet things you said today. Oh, good. Great. I'm not always really great about uh, pronouncing things, especially people's names. But I do apologize for it. Happy trails. Yep. You all take care. And um, you know I love you. And thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. And I hope you stick around. So go have a happy 4th of July. And um, if you're not doing anything else, then you want to join us over at uh, Tiffany's Quilting Live. She goes live at 5 o'clock um, Pacific Standard Time. And I'm sure a lot of us will be over there. So I'll see you there, okay? Bye for now.